Hello and welcome back to the first match of the semifinals with uh, your first commentator of the night of two. I don't know, I specified first. I guess it's because you're not as important as me. I'm hearty <laughs> crab meat. And suffer to creep. Today we're going to be seeing the fight of the Canadians, but Dry Bread vs. Brandon War Zero. Well known for having uh, many, many, like five at least episodes of... Um, of uh, with the 100 subscriber special together, as well as doing a whole let's play of Alien Swarm together over on Madriber's channel, which you should check out currently. If you're not checking it out, even though it's being hosted on this channel currently, and that was another meta joke. Let's go <laughs> into the match. So far, Brandon War has won the most matches in this tournament. I think we can all agree that Madriber has already won the prize of best mustache. Yes. I fa I don't think anyone can contend with him on that. Here's a super effector who had an amazing match last week in uh, in the corner of the mother bird Madribred. <clears throat> you have to wonder if that will play a role. Will, it, will he try to distract the ref? Will he try and trip him up? Who knows? But Brandon War is coming out here alone, and he thinks he can take him. Niggity, flexing his might. He has the longest winning streak in the tournament so far, having won his last two matches against. Very impressive competitors of Iodo Anchor and MSX. It looks like they're staying back at the start. Uh, it looks like they're sizing each other up here. Oh, Brandon's on the offensive first, so punches and some kicks. A big knee lift to the gut. Looks like Madribrite seems to be taking half of these, but it's still... Uh, Madribrite isn't fighting back very well here. It looks like Brandon's got the early advantage. Big scoop slam. He's trying to grapple him back. A European uppercut. That's gotta hurt. Oh, he's grappling him from behind. He's flipping him back around, and a European uppercut once again. Who could win this? Brandon has the uh, wins on his side, but Madrybrad is still a very competent fighter. This is another case of uh, technical skill versus power and speed. Madrybrad is more of a technical fighter. He also has been known to fight a bit dirty. The Falcon Punch busts open another competitor early in the match. His last two, his, his, uh, his match, his last match, rather, falling arm breaker. His last match busted open MSX, and now he's busted open Madri Brad. Is there no stopping this tight? Brandon's trying and succeeding in proving that power and strength can beat technical skill. He is. He's he's really been overpowering his competition more than anything, and he's following him up with another scoop slam. These two competitors have very similar move sets. Some toe kicks. Madri Brad's caught it. What's he gonna do? Oh, he took an enzigiri to the temple. That's gotta hurt. Oh, he went for a flipping uh, drop kick, but it didn't quite work. And oh, Brandon Moore with another one of those elbows. But dry bread, he hasn't has barely got any hits in. I think he's dazed oh, from that early punch oh, and another falcon punch. Brandon but he's being knocked silly. Just Brandon Moore seems to be going all out. Boom! Oh, the third one. He's on. He's on the ring apron. Oh. He dodged him by getting on the top rope, and he's getting back down. I guess he didn't feel confident enough to jump off yet. Another one of those uh, falling arm breakers. Shrugged off that leg sweep. Oh, With his chest, somehow. He's fighting back. Another one. Because, oh, he almost tripped him up there. He went for a diving clothesline, but it didn't quite work. Kick to the gut. Got him from behind. But he reverses it. What's he going to get him with? He's got him in the torture rack. He's just stretching out those ribs. It's, it, it looks like Madrybrad is actually bleeding. He's bleeding quite badly. What's this? Hook kick right to the jaw. But Brandon Ward gets right back up. This is a very competitive match. They're dressed very similarly. <laughs> What's this? Can, oh, he was, one, he was going for his big spike pile driver, but, he, but Madrybrad got out of it. Can Madrybrad turn this match around? Big snap mare. I think Madrybred was going for uh, he's going for his full Nelson camel clutch there, but it didn't quite work. He's punching him back. Could he be going for the brain buster? No, oh, he's got him from behind. Oh, a massive backdrop on the neck. So far, this this first match of the semi-final has been mostly on Brandon Moore's side, oh, but it looks he, like Madrybred's trying to turn this around. He got him in a he got him in a full Nelson and dropped him into an atomic drop. That's gotta fracture your spine. What? A roll-up pin? Oh, but he, don't, he managed to grab the ropes. Roll-up pin out of nowhere. That's a dirty Falcon move. Punch. He took another Falcon Punch. I think that's been four this match. But he reversed him. He caught him into a big Manhattan drop, dropping his groin right across the knee. Falcon 
Oh, oh but... <laughs> Brandon Wars have nothing about that. Following up with a falcon punch into a hurricane rana. For a second, it did look like Madrybred was making turning this around, but then Brandon War had to just come back with there. Uh... Oh, was this bulldog? This has been a very back and forth match. It looked like Brandon War was really on the offensive early on, but now they're pretty equal. Another European uppercut to the jaw. Yes, it seems, it seems to just be. Uh, keep, it seems to be going from one extreme to the other. Oh yeah. Oh, a running elbow caught him right in the face. That's not good. Oh, Brandon War's got him back. But he powered out. Brandon War's definitely on the defensive now. Brandon War's got to do something big to get the momentum back on his side. He stopped himself on the ropes and phased through that clothesline. What's this? Double arm DDT. Dropped right on his nose. He seems to be going more on Madrybred's side now. I think Madrybred's ready to finish this. What's this? Oh, he sweeped out the leg, put him in a full Nelson, and broke his nose right off the floor. But Brandon War managed to grab onto the rope. Impressive maneuver there. Looks like Madrybred was waiting for Brandon War to get back Hold up. Hold on. Madrybred is definitely aiming for the head this match. Oh, he powered him back down with a clothesline there. He needed to put all of his weight into it just to knock Brandon off his feet. Brandon is too much of a powerhouse. He throws him into the ropes, and he caught the dropkick attempt. It was a good thing, too. That might have knocked him out of the ring. What's he doing? Oh, he went for, uh, he went for some kind of uh, sunset flip pin, but he was too close to the ropes for that to happen. They need oh, to move further kick. back if they want to get, get this match finished. Brandon War almost falcon punched him in the groin, but he got the drop kick off sooner. Vertical suplex, just wearing him down. It seems to be going more in the dry bread's favor now. Definitely. That that massive hook kick that he almost knocked out MSX with almost got the dry bread, but he got him in the T-bone suplex. Oh, could this be it? Could this be Two, the end of the match? And three. It looks it's over. So Madrybred turned this match around and got through to the finals. That was a very close match with an impressive finish. He ducked under the massive hook kick and lifted him and threw him over with a T-bone suplex. Very impressive finish there from Madrybred. And now, all well having your nose basically removed from a falcon punch a minute into the match. The next round, <laughs> super effective as for our advisor. The next round is the last match of the 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 second match of the semifinals. Super Effector versus Fall Down Line Divisor. I think I I know we were presumptuous last time and we thought Fall Online Divisor would Fall Online Divisor would die pretty early in, but we'll just have to see. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure he's going to get completely wrecked. If Super <laughs> Effector could take out Joan, he may be able to win this whole tournament. Until next time, though, this has been Hardy Crab Meat. And Suffer to Creep. Have a... Cake. Have a cake. And it's definitely not a lie. I will fuck you up.